Chef Ben and today I'm going to be making a nice side dish for y'all using some local provisions and of course our Maggi onion and garlic bouillon cubes. This is a good option for your Sunday lunch or even for your Christmas lunch that you're thinking about. So let me show you how to make it. This is our provisions au gratin. So the first thing that you want to do is peel and cut all your provisions. You can use a mix of whatever you like. In my bowl, I have cassava. The Edo's head at the market was really good, so I got some of those. And I love sweet potatoes, so that's going into my provisions. I've already boiled them, cut them up, peeled them, and they're ready to go. To make this provisions au gratin, you're going to need some butter. I also have some fresh parsley, some garlic, because who doesn't love garlic, right? I also have some chopped pimentos, some green sweet peppers, and onion. We're going to be using our Nestle Carnation evaporated milk as well, and just some cheese on top of it. So, I have my pan here. It's on medium to low heat, and I'm going to put my butter in my pan first. Once my butter melts, I'm going to go in with my onion, garlic, pimento. All right, so my butter is nice and melted. I'm adding in my garlic first. Then I have my onions. pimento as well my sweet peppers and of course some lovely vibrant freshly chopped parsley so you just want to saute this for about two minutes So after two minutes, you're going to start to see your onions thinning translucent and you'll start getting some nice smells going on there. That's when you know you want to add your flour. So you're going in with just, I have here two tablespoons of flour, pour it in and mix it up. And we're going to cook this for another couple of minutes. Okay guys, so our veggies in here look really good. And again, if you need some reminding of what the recipe is to this, just head on over to www.nestlerecipescaribbean.com. So my flour is nicely incorporated. It's been a few minutes. I'm going to add my carnation full cream evaporated milk straight into the pot. And what you want to do now is cook this until the sauce gets thick. So you just want to stir it and let it cook. In the meantime, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and you want to butter a casserole dish. That's what we're going to put our cooked provisions in and then pour a sauce over the top. It's going to be yummy. So I'm adding my two onion and garlic Maggi bouillon cubes. So just remove the wrapper from on it. And once you've added your milk, you can just crumble them straight into your pot. There we go. Okay, so our sauce has gotten nice and thick. Everything smells really lovely. So I'm gonna turn my heat off. So I have my provisions, like I said to you, that have already been boiled. And I'm just gonna put them in my dish. Oops. So all you have to do now is take this lovely sauce that you made and pour it right over the top.
I'm just spreading it around so all my provisions get some. Now we're going in with the cheese. Okay guys, so all I'm going to do is pop our provisions au gratin into the oven and I'm going to let the cheese melt and it's just going to get bubbly and delicious. If you want to look up this recipe, all you have to do is go to www.nestlerecipescaribbean.com. I'm going to put this in the oven. Our provisions au gratin have come out of the oven and they got this nice lovely color from the browning of the cheese. <clears throat> so you can see what it looks like. I'm just going to take a little bit just to plate it up. And of course, this is still nice and hot. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put another piece. So you get that nice creaminess from the sauce that we made. And that's it guys. Remember that you can find the recipe for this provisions au gratin that we made using our Maggi onion and garlic bouillon. Just head on over to that website www.nestlerecipescaribbean.com. See you soon.